Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, today, as promised on my Facebook page, and again, if you're not subscribed to my Facebook page, the link's down there. Please like me on Facebook because I give away stuff. It's awesome. Okay, so I promised that we were going to talk about something in our spices, in our cabinet, something we already have that's just an amazing product. What is that product? It's turmeric. Okay. So, what does turmeric do other than just taste delicious in your Indian dishes and smell amazing? Um, it's good for your brain. It's good for inflammation in your muscles. It's good for your cardiovascular health. It's good for youthful skin. Ugh. And, of course, Anything that's got an anti-inflammatory is good for your joints and your muscles. Um, this also helps detoxify. We love to detox. Turmeric's your best friend when it comes to detoxing. And helps with your mood and weight loss. Who doesn't want to help with all of these things, right? Mood and weight loss. I mean, those alone... For every mom out there, hi, it's the best thing that can possibly happen. So on my Facebook page, I'm going to um, post a couple of different masks and treatments you can make with turmeric. Um, like I said, follow me on Facebook. It's I, I put lots of tips on there. Um, the one that I'm going to be doing is specific to me and specific to aging skin, which is my target audience, but there's plenty of other uses, I promise you. I have glowing skin, acne, wrinkle scrub, oily, dry, dark circles, and the list goes on and on and on. And I'm gonna put all those on my Facebook page. But I'm kinda combining a couple for what's going on with my skin. And we know I have sun damage, I have fine lines and wrinkles, I need some tightening. I have quite a few things going on. So I'm kind of going from a lot of different angles with what I'm about to make. But if you've got skin like me, please, we're going to take care of that right now. So let me just put my hair back. So I've got my normal clip and I'm just going to put all this hair up to get it out of my face. I don't care how it looks in the back or around the sides. I just want it out of my face. Okay, so let's also talk about I have a perfectly clean skin base to go off of. I've done my cleaning. I've scrubbed. Um, I'm good to go. I might have a little residual makeup around my eyes, but that's okay because I'm not going to be going up to my eye. So the first thing I'm going to do got my trusty knife. If you know me and you've been watching my videos, you know I love freezing lemons. It concentrates the lemon, makes it a lot more powerful. Eating a frozen lemon, grating it into stuff is the best way to go. So I've got my dethawed in the microwave warm lemon. So I'm going to take my turmeric And start with that as my base. What I'm going to do is just put about two tablespoons. The stuff is, oh, it smells so good. I mean, some people might not like the scent of it, but I love Indian food. And to me, it's just what it smells like. So I'm going to half my lemon and squeeze the lemon juice into the mix. I'm not really worried about seeds because I'm not ingesting this. I'm making a paste. So I'm just gonna get all that concentrated lemon out. The lemon is good for dark, and dark circles, reducing dark circles and inflammation, which is also something turmeric is good for. So a lot of a good thing is perfect. Okay, and I have some heavy cream. All right, 
my heavy cream is because I have dry skin. It's the winter time. That's going to help it. Got my brush here. So I'm just mixing in that heavy cream until I get a paste. All right. Got a paste going here. I'm going to add a little more turmeric just because I added a little too much liquid, but there's really no recipe here. I'm just doing it by eye. I know what kind of paste I want on my face, and I'm getting all the, the goodness that I can into one slurry here. Oh, it's perfect. It's just, it's gooping up. perfectly. Alright, so now the fun part. I'm going to paint this on my face. Keep in mind this is going to be messy. So if you want to wear a towel, probably a good idea. Probably something I should have thought about. We've got this yellow curry type paste, okay? Look how beautiful that goes on. Thick and gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna go up right under my eyes and paint it on. Just like any face mask, I'm gonna paint this stuff on my face. Don't worry, it's not gonna stain your face. And yes, I went right up under my eye. Now, if you're ingesting this, if you're choosing the um, turmeric, because this is so good for you to drink, detox your tea dox your whole body with. It's recommended that you use black, uh, fresh ground black pepper. It helps the body absorb it faster. And I thought about putting black pepper into my slurry here, my face mask, but. I don't want it up under my eyes. So I went against my, I thought about it and I really almost did it. In fact, I have it sitting here, but I decided against it at the last minute. This is going on like a dream. You would not believe this is going on so smooth. I'm gonna get right up into my hairline. And I'm also, I'm cutting in really close to my eye. It does not burn. It does not singe. There's no feeling there whatsoever. But my eyes need the help. So I'm right up under my eye. And I'm just going to pack it on there. I got it into my eye. Which is not what I was going for. But that's okay. We just adapt. It's all natural. I'm just going over with a second deep yellow coat. Look how great that is. No, it does not burn. I'm going to go over my lips. We all need some help. And in fact, for me, because I'm aging, I'm going to go down my decolletage area. Your decolletage? Is your neck and chest. It's just a fancy French term for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go down my neck and decolletage. My decollete. It's fun. It's kind of like painting, <laughs> but we're painting for a good cause, aren't we? You know where we show age so quick is our neck and our chest. I look like an Oompa Loompa right now, but it I don't feel it. And I even got it in my eye and I don't feel it. Which is awesome. I mean, sometimes it's good to feel the product working. But other times, you, those chemicals just burn. It's 
So I'm going to go ahead and go into my decollete. I made plenty of it. Might as well slather up. Get the cracker, the cleavage that shows your age when you push it. Ooh, I just lost my camera. So I'm yellow right now and I'm fighting with my camera. We know right here is where we show our age. So I'm just putting, painting it on. Now with the excess, I'm just going to save it for later. I'm going to put it in a little dish, a little, hope nobody cooks with it. But if they do, they do, and there's no big deal because it's all natural. All right, so I painted this on. I'm going to wait 20 minutes. Do not worry about the color. I promise you will not turn this color. I promise. Okay, so I'll see you in 20 minutes. Hey guys, it's been 20 minutes. I have completely washed my face. I've scrubbed it because there was a little residual yellow that kept washing off. So I just kept washing my face, scrubbing it until all that yellow came off. I'm a little red. Remember, I've been at the beach. I was in Mexico, so I'm a little burnt anyways. Not to brag. Ooh, it was awesome. Anyways, so I've scrubbed my face. It feels like a dream. It's so smooth. I'm going to finish off with just a little hyaluronic acid because that's what I do. That's who I, I'm all about. But if you notice, my sunspots are not as dark. My pores are noticeably smaller, which is just amazing. Um, my skin feels a little tighter than normal, but completely smooth. I'm a little red right now because I've been scrubbing it so much, but that'll wear off. I don't have any yellow tinge. You can't see any line into my hairline other than just tan line. Um, turmeric was all that it was cracked up to be uh i hope you try it i hope when you try it that you comment or message me on facebook message me comment on here tell me how you liked it tell me what combination you used and what worked for you whether it be egg whites whether it be yogurt whatever it is that you're needing I, throw in a little bit of turmeric and let me know what you think it's right there in everyone's spice cabinet i'd like to see how how it worked for you and what you think all right i'll talk to y'all later bye